Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Good Morning Mechanic. Good morning, everybody. So what I have here is I have an ABS sensor. And then this ABS sensor is burnt out. And you can tell that because if you look down in here, I don't know if... If you look inside, you see here this connection is actually uh, the solder is burnt. Everything is burnt out. Uh, and, it, and it could be because it's 17 years old. You know, these systems don't last forever. So, when you get these, they actually come together like this. This part will go in here. Right like that. And this part will actually be on the end of that. But as I was removing it, so normally what you do, what you want to do is you want to turn these. And this turned just fine. It really did. It turned just fine. And then what I did was, and I kind of, I shouldn't have done this. But I started prying up on this. And then I pried it up. And the next thing you know, poop, this popped out, this little O-ring separated. So there's supposed to be these locking tabs inside here. To hold it in. And they just didn't hold a you 17-year-old know, piece of plastic. So, <clears throat> let me try and get this off. So this thing popped out, leaving this intact. And inside, the differential. So, I turned it, and I turned it, and it, it was loose. I went to go pry this up, pried it right here, see my marks. And this thing snapped off. Look at this old corroded plastic. Leaving this piece stuck in my differential. Definitely a giant pain. You can see the marks where I was trying to uh, lift it. So what I ended up doing was grabbing a pair of vice grips and biting onto the side right here. And trying to turn it. And it turned but it would not wedge out. I tried a pry bar, I tried a small screwdriver, none of it worked. What I ended up having to do is put threads inside here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, use my light to show you guys the threads you can kinda see that I put inside there. So, how I did that was I took this little carriage bolt and I measured the diameter and I realized that that has the interior diameter uh, of this this actual sensor so I heated it up with a torch and then I pushed it down in here while it was heated up with a torch and I twisted it and I twisted it until I couldn't twist it anymore And then I took my vice grips, put it on here, and twisted it some more. And then I knew I had a good bite. So, <clears throat> then I took a pickle fork, and I put the pickle fork on here. You could see the bite marks. And I tried to hammer a pickle fork and pry it out. It wouldn't work. What did end up working is taking this little gear wrench screwdriver putting it right here and wiggling it as I pried downwards against the differential case and that move that movement right there eventually popped it out so this piece right here this piece is what saved me so uh, if you guys use this in the future, let me know. Let me know if you've ever had to do this yourself. Um, thanks for watching. And as always, have a good morning. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just one second before you leave. Can you please make sure that you are subscribed to Good Morning Mechanic. Uh, come see us on Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. Because 
I looked at the analytics. 99% of you viewing my videos are not subscribed yet, uh, but you're watching my videos. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it, but please subscribe. Mm -hmm.